What's up YouTube? So today I'll be showing you an Xbox 360 development kit slim prototype version. This was a stress test console that was used for uh, internal stress tests at Microsoft and uh, I'll be showing you the outside of the console shell here first. Uh, later on in the video we'll be showing you the actual uh, internal stuff of the slim XDK as well as a retail motherboard I've got over here. It's a non-working retail motherboard, but it'll show you comparatively um, the differences between the retail uh, first edition motherboard and the prototype first edition motherboard that uh, looks similar, but there's some extra ports and gadgets on the board. Um, so first I'll show you the, the back of it here, the uh, decal on the retail or on the uh, XDK shell. Obviously it's a little bit different. Uh, it does not exist on the uh, retail board. Um, I mean, it's 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 matte finish right here, so something may have had you know gone there, or they had plans to put something there, um, but obviously they they decided not to because this only appears on the dev console and it's only on the prototype version. Um, the uh, warranty seal that's normally here is black on the retail console, and uh, on the the prototype it's it's chrome. You can see my finger kind of being reflected there. Um, somebody had already opened this, so I had no qualms of opening it up and showing you guys the uh, the cool stuff inside this dev kit. Um, nothing uh, particularly different here with the retail version, but I have the uh, the back of the uh, the dev kit version, and as you can see here, it'll show you the word prototype versus where it does not. Here it says Xbox 360s console, and gives some information. Uh, SEC information and whatnot, and as you can see right here, it states specifically the disk device has not been authorized as required by the rule of the FCC. So, and that's that's typical to see on prototype consoles. But I thought what was interesting is that I don't think that they had the uh, the S name down because it doesn't say it anywhere on here. So I, I found that was kind of interesting, and uh, more and more I've been seeing these prototype consoles come out on eBay um, or people are referring to them as prototypes because they have that little decal on the back. It's kind of a cool collectible, but it's not a true prototype. Um, what people are selling, if it doesn't have this serial number, which I've got my finger purposely over, but if it doesn't have a serial number and a barcode there, um, and if it's blank, kind of like what this looks like, then what it's going to be is it's going to be a dummy console um, that uh, you'd see at something like Ikea or at Walmart or something along those lines, you know, something in the furniture department that makes it look homey with the uh, the TVs and stuff. Um, but this is a legitimate prototype. This actually is a functional working motherboard. It is a legitimate XTK with an XTK launcher. It's not an, a JTAG or an RGH or anything like that. This is 100% legit dev. Um, another kind of cool thing I thought was neat was... You see the power supply shape. It's, I mean, this is how it is on everybody's. Um, it's got these little notches, these little angles down here that uh, everybody's has, and the plug fits perfectly in. But on the on the dev kit, as you can see, it's differently shaped. So the the angle part is actually on the top, and there is nothing here. It's just a square. Um, when I first bought this, it didn't come with its own power supply, and uh, when I went to plug the one that goes to this console into here, I was like, what the hell, because it wasn't powering on, and I thought I had bought a dev kit, but something that was broken or, you know, something was going on with it, but in fact, I just needed to invert the power supply, so what I did is this one, how it's, the angles are down here, I took the power supply straight out and just shoved it as hard as I could into there, and I powered the console up. And so the power supply itself is no different. It's just the shape of the plug. Unfortunately, I do not have the dev prototype version power supply unit. I, I'm still on the hunt for one. I'm sure that I'll find one someday. But as of now, I just use a retail um, version. And um, so, yeah, so that's that's basically the outside of the shell. It's a high-gloss uh, shell. It looks no different than the, the retail version on the outside, except for the little things I showed you on the back. But the outside is no different. The Xbox 360 logo is there. And it's not much more interesting than that. So let me get rid of the shell here and the, uh, the retail console because we're pretty much done with it for this portion of the video. I'll be showing another video here that will show you the, uh, the console booting up. But uh, let's get uh, over here to this kind of stuff here. So this is the, uh, the shell or the, the internal stuff of all the, uh, the XDK here. Um, what I'll show next, actually, before I get to that, I'm going to show you the hard drive, because this came with a prototype hard drive. I was pretty excited about this because of some of the stuff that was on it. Um, so right here, 
this is a retail 250 gigabyte hard drive. And I mean, it's just, it looks pretty, pretty much like everybody else's does. Now the prototype version is over here. Now the first thing you'll notice is that the 360 logo is much bigger on this side. Also what you'll notice is that where the button is on here, it's actually on the back side of this version. And for good reason, you'll see the shape is a lot different too. So this one has got like rounded edges to it. It's got a little S logo on it. I, I don't know what that is for, but uh, see here, right here, it is a prototype. And again, it fails to mention that it's a 360S console. As you can see here, it says used with 360. So I, I'm thinking they probably hadn't panned out the, the actual title of, the, of the, the console. And as you can see, this is 160 gigabyte, which was never released for uh, retail consoles. So you can see the shape here of a retail hard drive is a lot more squared off. So that's, again, that's the, uh, the differences between the, the motherboard, the, uh, the hard drive of a retail versus the dev. So I'll show you the decal again, just so everybody can get a good glance at it without having to rewind the video. So there's the prototype version, and there's the retail version. And as you can see here on the retail, it does say S. So that's it's kind of cool. And again, on the next video, I'll be showing you booting it up, and you get to see all the goodies that were on it. So next, we'll go with the faceplate. So one thing that's kind of cool about this faceplate is the button kind of see it it's not that chrome it's it's more of a kind of opaque outside and then a uh, chrome inside and I'll, I'll get the retail console out again so you can kind of see that so it's a little bit dusty but uh, I think you'll kind of see the differences here so retail on the right dev kit on the left so it is it is a little bit different and uh, show you the decals in here IMD power button. No idea what that's about, but uh, otherwise it looks pretty similar to a, a retail uh, faceplate on the inside. So we'll get rid of that for the time being. We'll get rid of the uh, retail console so we can get to the dev kit, which is everybody everybody came here to see. So the uh, the disk drive has got a little bit of information here. It's missing uh, the little sticker that usually goes over the top of this, and uh, yeah. It's got all that info on there. It's kind of cool, not that interesting, but kind of cool. It's different than the retail one. So I've already disconnected the uh, disk, tri disk drive so I can pull it out with one hand. And uh, the cables that are coming out of the top of this, there is a little port here that's not on the retail uh, shell. It's a little hole that's cut and some kind of protective thing so the wires don't get stripped by the, the raw metal. And then they plug into right here these ports that are uh, the dev ports and for different things. Uh, usually on the stress test, stress test consoles they were used for uh, PICS, performance indication for Xbox. Um, this showed the uh, all the stuff running on the console so it showed all the, the statistics and you know show it in graph form. Show the console how well it's running on the CPU and the GPU and how the temperature is running and they would basically try to stress the consoles out as much as possible so that way the uh, the purchaser, the, the consumer, wouldn't buy a console and plug a game in and have it overload. A Microsoft would not obviously want that. So uh, it's got some uh, pin sets that are typical on dev kits. It's got another port that I don't know what that's for because it's not, it doesn't plug into anything here. Um, another dev kit port here, some pin sets. And then uh, the fan is actually different too. It's a cool master. And this is uh, at which point I'll show you the differences between the retail um, motherboard and the dev kit motherboard. So here's a retail fan. And then the shroud actually says F94 on the retail version. I mean, it, it has less blades on it. This one only has five blades on it uh, versus the dev kit one that has seven and has this extra little protector thing on it. Um, it's probably because it's it's probably cheaper, but uh, the dev kit version is a cool master brand. Um, the uh, heat sink, I don't know if you can, you'll be able to tell or not, but uh, it actually sits a little bit higher than the retail one does. Get the retail one cleared off of the fan here. The retail one 
So it's about there. So I'll show you comparatively here. It probably goes to about my first knuckle here on my finger versus the dev kit one. It goes a lot more. You can really tell or not, but uh, it is a bigger, uh, bigger heat sink. Um, the uh, where the hard drive plugs into is actually a little bit different too. If anybody's ever taken apart their 360 Slim, you'll know that this little connector here actually is a, uh, it's a screw connection, and uh, this actually just unclips. So it doesn't look quite like this. This is the retail version. There's a little screw that goes to the top of here, and it actually pins it into this tray here, whereas the dev kit version actually just slides and locks into place, which is can't really demonstrate with one hand, but it, it is slightly different here, and I'll take the tray out so we can uh, see a little bit more of the exposed motherboard here. So let me get this kind of shimmied out here. There we go. So the uh, the motherboard back here doesn't really look all that much different, but uh, I'll kind of hold it there and show some shots. Um, another thing that's kind of cool is that the Coolmaster fan has like this rainbowy power supply, and it uh, it looks similar on the retail one, but the retail one starts out with black coating and goes down, but it's basically the same. So you see all the pin sets here. You see the the Hannah chip there, and the Southbridge chip, the NAND chip, and then it's even got the little port. That the uh, supplemental power, or supplemental um, uh, memory chip goes on to. So the four gigabyte consoles, um, there's a little chip that actually plugs in here on the retail version. For whatever reason, the dev kit version has it on there, and I've tried it. It does. You can plug a four gigabyte uh, chip in there, and it will recognize it, um, which is uh, kind of cool because uh, if you were to take a um, uh, a four gigabyte chip and, and take it off the uh, motherboard and you were to plug it into say this one which was this came from a 250 gigabyte uh, console that did not have that chip it still has the port on there but if you were to toss the, the chip on there it won't work it, it'll only be compatible with another four gigabyte uh, Xbox from my understanding so that's kind of cool um, but yeah so the uh, the ARC module is here. It's it's actually no different than the retail version. I've compared it. It looks exactly the same. Um, and uh, there's no serial number here. I didn't take it off. It just wasn't there. Um, so yeah, and then you can see the shell is shaped for the dev kit hard drive to go into. So I'll show you. It just kind of slides perfectly in, and that's where you would. If I had the tray in there, it would slide in a lot better, and then it would clip in. Now it will take. The, de or the retail ones, as you can see, it's just differently shaped, and it does give a little bit of resistance, but it will plug in, and uh, I could connect a retail um, hard drive to it if I so chose, um, but I don't need to because I've got the, the prototype console uh, version. So. But uh, besides that, there's not much more else to the console I can really show you. Um, let me show you the back here. Um, there was a warranty seal at one point there, but again, somebody somebody popped that warranty seal before I I, bought, I purchased it. Um, I purchased this console uh, from eBay uh, for three hundred dollars US uh, US dollars uh, with free shipping. Um, it does seem like a little bit of money, but again, I, I'm not after the consoles for anything more than collectability. So for me, it's it's kind of a a gem in my collection, so to speak, because it is a prototype. It was a stress test console, and it's a slim, so it's kind of cool. And uh, so, yeah, another thing that somebody, if you are uh, quick on this, you might notice here on the motherboard that I'm just remembering to point out, there is no speaker. So this console does not make noise when you power it on, and I will show you that in the next video, the demonstration of it booting up. The uh, speaker is normally right around here, and I'll show you where it's at on the motherboard here on the, re on the retail version. So it's actually next to this uh, this ZR3 chip, or 2R chip, 2R3 chip. And that's the speaker. That's where the noise comes out of the little ding that comes up when you eject or when you power the console on. And on the dev kit, it's not here. So I think that was something that they added after the fact. They wanted to make noise for some reason. Um, this the dev kit will not make noise. So um, so yeah. So that's the video here. Um, comment, uh, you know, subscribe, like, dislike, whatever. It's all good. Um, 
I'll uh, be uploading a video here shortly. I'm going to show a demonstration of uh, the console booting up, so look for that. So this is part one of two videos. And uh, so yeah, enjoy. And if, uh, if I can answer any questions for you, please do not hesitate to ask. You can either uh, leave comments or you can private message me. I, I'm pretty good about returning messages. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.